That's right, Walt. This guy hit a ball at least seven blocks. How do I know? It conked me right on the head. <laughs> sure it hurt. But what's a fractured skull if it's good for baseball? I was tipped off about this guy from some of the kids around the neighborhood. His name is a uh, Mr. Herman Munster, and he lives on Mockingbird Lane. Don't worry about it, Walt. I'll have his name on the contract first thing in the morning. Oh, is this Munster character going to be swept right off his feet with the most sincere, lovable, charming personality? What do you mean, who am I sending? I'm going myself. <laughs> Doesn't that look yummy? How was your morning at the ballpark, Eddie? Oh, it was real crowded when we got there. By the time Pop got up to bat, it thinned out. Oh, uh, say, Herman, your boss, Mr. Gateman, phoned and mentioned how busy you were. Things really must be jumping down at the parlor. Oh, no, they're not. We keep a very tight lid on everything. <laughs> but we are busy. As a matter of fact, I brought home a lot of paperwork to do over the weekend. You really love your work, don't you, Uncle Herman? Yes, Marilyn. Nothing could drag me away from my job down at the parlor. <laughs> That's right, Herman. And in just 12 years, the company will give you a big banquet and a, and a gold shovel. <laughs> kind of grabs you, doesn't it? <laughs> Baseball of us through this. Good evening, sir. May I help you? Yes, uh, is this the Munster residence? That's right. Uh, I'm Leo DeRoche here, and I'd like to see a Herman Munster. Oh, yes. Won't you come in? Yes. I've never seen a place like this in my whole life. Not even in Brooklyn. Thank you. Oh, my Uncle Herman has some work to do right now, but you can talk to my Aunt Lily if you like. Fine. Uh, Aunt Lily! Aunt Lily, I'd like you to meet Mr. Leo DeRocher. He'd like to talk to Uncle Herman. Oh, how do you do, sir? Uh, how do you do? Uh, I'd like to talk to your husband on business. I'm sure he'd be glad to arrange everything in advance for you. It's always nice to know where you're going before you go. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm in baseball. Oh, I see. Well, my husband's busy, but perhaps you could talk to my father first. Uh, I'll call him. Uh, Grandpa! Grandpa! <laughs> uh, did you call Lily? <laughs> Grandpa, this is Mr... De Mr. DeRosha? Uh, Mr. DeRosha? Oh, Leo DeRosha! You could have knocked me over with a tombstone. Now, how do you do? It's a pleasure. You're one of the greatest sports figures in the last 100 years. Yeah, thanks, but I'm not that old. I guess it won't hurt to disturb Herman. Uh, Marilyn, would you call him? Oh, certainly, Aunt Lily. Uncle Herman, there's someone up here to see you. <laughs> you big dummy, you look what you did. That's Leo DeRosha. You scared him. Me? And black suit, he must have thought you were an umpire. <laughs> Leo, Leo, wake up, wake up. Oh, I hope he's all right. I don't like the way the color's coming back into his face. He was safe by a mile. Don't tell me. <laughs> oh, take it easy, Mr. Drosher. Uh, you're among friends. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Oh, Mr. DeRosha, this is my son-in-law, Herman Munster, the one you came to see. Were you at the park this morning hitting some baseballs? That's right. I was knocking out a couple for my boy. One of them hit me on the head eight blocks away. Oh, you poor man. That explains why you acted so strangely when you came in. Uh, Mr. DeRosha, if you plan to sue, 
I can dig up 50 witnesses to prove we never left Transylvania. <laughs> no, no, no. I have a business proposition for Mr. Munster. And I wonder if uh, I could talk to you alone. Uh, uh, certainly. Uh, would you excuse us? Of course, dear. In case you need me, Herman, just give me a howl. <laughs> I wonder what the business proposition is then, Lily. I don't know, but the last time a man talked to Herman alone, he wound up buying a second-hand Etzel. <laughs> Say, uh, Herman, uh, have you ever played baseball before? Uh, baseball? Yeah. Well, I've, uh, I've fooled around a little with the game. I, uh, played a little second base. <laughs> well, I can see that's where you made your mistake. Hmm? Well... You know, when that run is on first coming down into second base to break up the double play, you've got to keep your face out of the way of those spikes. <laughs> I'll try to remember that. Uh, I'll say one thing, boy. You're really built. You're put together like a ball player. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, that wasn't the plan. Uh, I just came out that way. <laughs> Does Mr. DeRocha really think you could be a big baseball player? Uh, that's right, Lily. I'm going down to baseball park this morning and try out. But he says I've got it in the bag. <laughs> oh, boy, my dad playing for the Dodgers. Why don't I tell the other kids? You know, that's great, Herman. There's big money in baseball. Oh, it's not just the money, Grandpa. Uh, what I'm looking forward to is the fringe benefits. I'll be able to endorse breakfast foods and shave on television. And I'll be able to sit in the audience on the Ed Sullivan Show and have him mispronounce my name and everything. But, Uncle Herman, what about your job at the parlor and your career? Yes, Herman. Mr. Gateman has great plans for you down there. And he's so proud of you and the way you carry your share of the load. That's true, dear. Uh, that's very true. But right now... Herman Munster is at the crossroads. Should I struggle along in an old job for the promise of security in the future, or should I grasp time by the forelock and on that great merry-go-round of life try for the brass ring? Translation. The big hand thinks he can play baseball. Uh, you can scoff if, if you want to, Grandpa. But when I get out of that ballpark this morning, it's going to be one, two, three strikes, you're out.